A young fawn is wandering the 10 mile point area in Saanich with a plastic plant pot stuck around its neck. It is the latest example of the clash between wildlife and urban life in Greater Victoria. The deer is likely in pain and a lot of discomfort and as it continues to grow, that plant pot is going to grow tighter and the pain will get worse. And CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports conservation officers would like to help, but they say the growing dirt urban deer population is tapping them out. And what did you think when you saw those pictures? Oh, it's very sad. I mean, that's so unfair. A family of deer is wandering around the 10 mile point area. One young member with a piece of black plastic around its neck. I'd say we see it more often than people realize. The fawn was last seen here on Gibson Place at 10 Mile Point. People who live in the area have been asked by conservation officers to keep an eye out for the deer and its family so they can track its patterns. We want to try and uh, see what it's, you know, what area it likes to stay in and at what times of the day. And then maybe we can make a plan to try and uh, be there at those times to then tranquilize the fawn and remove the ring, but that could be tricky. When you hit a, a deer with a dart, it's a very painful stimulus and the deer can run off, it usually will run off. So we have to be in, a, in an area or a situation where, we can, where we're confident that we can find the animal if it does run off. It is the latest in a series of urban deer problems in the capital region. There seems to be a lot of them right now. They have nowhere to go with all the development that's going around, so they are in the urban area more and more. Including the recent discovery of a deer that had been shot with a crossbow bolt. Incidents that are taxing already busy conservation officers who are grateful for any help. Things like this, we have to try and balance the need to help the animal with the other things we need to do. So that's why we don't go out looking for these animals. We have to uh, maximize our opportunities by relying on the public to tell us where it is. Paul says there is no immediate plan to deal with the fawn, but the area will continue to be monitored. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Saanich.